Ah. Hello there. Sorry, I didn't see you there. What of me staring at this wall and all. <laughs> I assume you've come seeking answers to life's greatest mysteries. <laughs> of course you have. I am the guy after all. <laughs> now come on, tell me. What is it? Interview techniques. <sighs> all right then. Now, before you even start conducting your interview, you need to think about what it's about and how you're going to go about it. There's no point just blundering in with no clear goal in mind. And once you do have a clear goal set up, it's time to get to work. You should never shy away from research when preparing for your interview, especially if the subject matter is one you are not yet accustomed to. Not only should you be searching for information about the subject matter, but also for your possible interviewee themselves. The last thing you want to do is make a fool of yourself, especially on a subject matter that could be easily avoided with just a little more preparation. to contact your interviewee before incorporating them into your final plan. Get an idea for who they are and how they speak. For all you know, they could be a deranged mass murderer dressed as a Celtic warrior. Ah, Mr. Borshek, lovely to- <laughs> Once you're certain you've found an individual that's suitable enough, make sure to create a work schedule around their availability. And of course, take notes so you don't lose track of the information. Yes! <laughs> Murdering, yes. I did a bit of that myself once, yes. Uh, my husband, actually, yes. On the day of filming, it is crucial to make sure that all equipment is functioning as it should. Worst case scenario, you have a camera or microphone malfunction and are unable to re-record the footage. Whether that be because you're not able to get the same effect that the interviewee gave to you, or they are unable to do the questions again. You can test the microphone levels before the interviewee even arrives by having a stand-in model in their place. <laughs> Thanks, Paul! <laughs> now, once your interviewee arrives, it's a good idea to get them settled into the environment. You all right, Barshek? Good, right. Now that your subject is in place, you are free to set up the camera angles. There are three distinct camera angles. High angle, low angle, Eye level. High angle makes your subject appear inferior. Low angle makes them appear superior and eye level shows him from a neutral perspective. It's also important to consider the look space and headroom for each of your camera. When in a close-up shot, make sure to leave a small amount of space at the top of the frame above the interviewee, so that the tip of their head isn't cut off. I would recommend having a clip-on microphone attached to your interviewee to act as the main source of audio, which can be hidden by tucking the wires away, whilst also placing a directional microphone closer to the camera, which will pick up more of a cone of sound in the room as opposed to the very limited reach the clip-on will give you. Using more than one microphone means you have backup audio in case one of them should fail. If indoors you're fine with the simple microphones like this, but if you find yourself in an outdoor environment, you'll need one of these. This microphone protector will block out any intrusive sounds, which will mostly consist of wind blowing around the setup. Without it, you'll find yourself plagued with inconsistent and distorted audio, which will be very inconvenient for the final production. A Volkspub interview is a collection of short survey-based questions, which usually get the public's opinion on a certain subject or matter. 
These can be found in news stories or documentaries commonly. Ah, greetings, human. What are you doing alone in this secluded place? What are you doing alone in this secluded place? Leave me alone! <laughs> Other interview types include explanation, portrait, witness and declaration. An explanation interview should I am God, I know all fighting. Allow the interviewee to give their expert opinion on a specific subject. They should be well prepared to answer any questions about the subject you may have and you should more or less predict these answers for your research. <laughs> so, I understand you're an expert on lamps. Can you tell me something about that? No. I see. In some cases, it may be beneficial to use an open or closed question. In this class, I used a closed question, and I got nothing of value from this answer. Let's try it again. <laughs> Sorry, just... Yes. So you're an expert concerning lamps. Then, what is your opinion on the discovery of an edible light bulb? A witness interview involves having an interviewee who has seen or taken part in an event related to the subject. Here we have a survivor of Borshek's 2004 massacre at the famous Mediterranean toilet market in Turkey. Hello sir! Tell us about the Mediterranean toilet massacre! <laughs> Turn the camera off! Portrait interviews are good to bring out the personality of a subject, while declaration interviews are good at getting an individual's immediate reaction on something, usually someone involved with news or politics. There are some other things to consider when you get to the actual interview itself that you may not have considered before, such as the way you intend to communicate to your crew as if, for say, you want to change the composition of a shot. If you're going to use hand signals, it's important to predetermine their meaning before starting the interview. You shouldn't attempt to film every shot in real time, as you can always go back after the main interview is finished and do them then. Of course, it is always good to get a couple of these shots. While you're doing the interview, in case you're unable to interview the subject again. Revisiting parts of the interview allows you to capture things you couldn't before, whether that be because it's at certain angles or because you have limited equipment. Reaction shots from the interviewer or interviewee filling with their hands, perhaps. Lastly, once you come to the end of your interview, calm your interviewee down and keep the cameras rolling. At this point, you may get some information that the interviewee might not otherwise have revealed as I felt pressured because of the attention they are brought.